Creating an artistic paradox needs inspiration, which this video intends to give. So stay with me as I show you some artistic paradoxes and how they were created in the picture. It's easier than you think, so let's get started. In order to have that 3D or 2D feeling in your slider, you need to give at least two of your elements a parallax effect. Here, we'll start with the background image. So, select the image and in options on the top right, enable the parallax effect. Click on Edit. We'll only change the X and Y movement. Set the Y movement to 0 and the X to 1. Close the editor. Select the bird image. Go to Options and enable the parallax effect. Click on Edit. Set the Y movement to 0 and the X movement a higher value than the background. 6 will do. Close and preview the slider. The parallax effect makes it feel like the bird is flying in the sky. I'd like to bring the slider to life with a parallax effect. Start with selecting this cup image. In options, enable the parallax effect. Set the X movement to 1 and the Y movement to minus 1. Do the same with the circles in the back. Enable their parallax effect and give each an X movement and a Y movement. Now, here's the trick. Give each of the coffee beans a parallax effect with different X and Y values so it feels like they're hovering over the cup of coffee. Preview your slider and move around your mouse to witness the magic. Select this image Go to Options, enable the Parallax effect and click on Edit. Give it an X movement and set the Y movements to 0 so it moves horizontally. Select the text in the back, enable the Parallax effect, give it an X movement value. Here, minus 3 would do because I want the two elements to move against each other. Preview. Play with your mouse a little and voila, you have a beautiful and artistic parallax effect. I want to make it feel like this fish is swimming in the water using a parallax effect. After selecting it, go to Options, enable the parallax effect. Edit. Set the X movement to 0 and keep the Y movement at 10 so it moves vertically. Now I want these waves to move horizontally only. Once you enable the parallax effect for each, set the Y movement to 0 and keep the X movement at 10 except for the last one which will have a minus 10 X movement. Preview Play with your mouse and see the spectacle happen. This basketball player will look like he is about to throw the ball in the basket. Select the image. In options, enable the parallax effect. Click on edit and give it an X and Y value. Close. Select the circle image. Enable its parallax effect. Click on Edit and give it an X and Y movement only in the opposite direction than the last one. Repeat the process for these small elements too. Give each an X and Y value and close the editor. Preview your slider and voila! Looks like we have a winner! Alright everyone, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment to tell us what you think. Ciao!